Switching gears a little bit, let's talk about a science experiment, something fun at home that you could try to do. This science experiment combines both icebergs and density. Check it out. Today we are going to talk about icebergs and in the process learn a little bit about density. What you'll need for this experiment, a container, something that you can see through filled up with a couple inches of water. You're also going to need some balloons. You're going to take one of your balloons, fill it up with some water and stick it in the freezer for a few hours until it's completely frozen. This is going to represent our iceberg. And then you'll just need a pair of scissors to cut the balloon away from the chunk of ice. So you're going to take your balloon and we're going to use our scissors to cut away the balloon from our chunk of ice. So you want to be careful when you do this. It should come off of here fairly easily, especially if you have a good pair of scissors. So what's happened is that as our water has frozen and turned into ice, it's actually become less dense than water in its liquid form. So this is a good teachable moment to just pause and say, now that we know that our ice is a little bit less dense than our liquid water, what do you think is gonna happen when we drop this into the water? So now we're ready to drop our iceberg into the water and watch what happens. Just like an iceberg floating in the ocean, what we can see is about 90% of our ice here is below the surface of the water and only about 10% is above the surface of the water. So again, the reason that this experiment works is because water in its solid form as ice is slightly less dense than water in its liquid form and that allows our ice to float. Similar to when you make yourself a drink and your ice floats to the top. Meteorologist Kristen Cruchane, TMJ4 News.